Hey guys, um, this is my uh, second video update for um, CSE 611 Information Literacy and I uh, just wanted to kind of uh, show everybody what I've found so far and kind of share my progress um, on my project. Um, just to recap, I am trying to learn how to make iPhone applications and um, learn more about using iPods, iPhones, and all of that in, uh, in the classroom. So I've done quite a bit of research actually, and I just wanna show you what I've found so far. Um, from Apple, um, there was obviously a ton of information on their products as they um, pertain to education, and I downloaded all the documents I could from their website. Um, some of them pertain directly to iPods and mobile learning. And I found um, a bunch of PDF files that go into uh, reasons why to use mobile learning in the classroom. And uh, they, this document, for example, has 10 reasons to use mobile learning. And um, really interesting reads and I am going to start um, a blog. I already have one started um, for my project for the, the program that reviews some of the articles and things I find as they relate to iPods and iPhones in education. And I'll, I'll review some of these articles and brochures and you know publications as I go. Uh, here was one pretty big document on using iPods in the classroom. So it's a good starting place for teachers who want to uh, use this technology in the classroom. So I thought this would be a pretty good way to get started um, thinking about how I want to use the iPhone and any type of application I might create uh, in education. So. Uh, a lot of documentation from Apple, K-12 documents, stuff about iTunes U, which will be pertinent as I um, start working more with iTunes and the application store and things like that. Now the other thing I was able to do was download the iPhone SDK, um, the software developers kit where all the programming actually takes place and um, here I have all the applications that I'm going to be using. Xcode apparently is the one that um, I will be using the most. And I am hoping to receive some books um, on programming pretty soon. And I will be able to read those and hopefully get a basic understanding of programming for the iPhone. So just I'll open this up. I haven't played around with it a whole lot yet, um, but Xcode apparently is where I'll be starting. And uh, it's kind of cool. They have this iPhone Developer Center when you first start up Xcode and there are uh, QuickTime videos that introduce you to the SDK and kind of give you some basic tutorials and stuff to get you started. So I'll definitely be watching those. Um, as I, you know, try to get a handle on this whole programming thing. So, um, if I go, let's see, what do I do? Let's click on this create your first application. And, no, this isn't what I want. So, I'm going to go to file and then new project. Yeah, this is what I want. So I will close this window. Or just leave it there. Anyway, um, and then here apparently I can work with the iPhone OS or programming for uh, the Mac computer operating system. And from what I've seen in the like, basic uh, manual that kind of came with the SDK was to kind of start with a view based application and I'll just want to show you 
the basic interface here. This is where I'll be doing all my work, apparently. So uh, a lot of coding, and I saw a little bit earlier um, some code that comes with the SDK that apparently makes things a little easier, and I'll be working with this kind of stuff. So wish me luck. Uh, it's going to be an adventure for sure. And I'll keep you updated on my progress, as always.